What's up, Fearless Nation? This is Stacy Dash, and if you're into heavyweight boxing, then you have to check out Jay's Theory. He covers everything inside the ring and outside the ring, completely unbiased. So subscribe today. Peace. What's up, y'all? Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, share all that stuff. Further thoughts on UFC 265. I want to talk about Derek Lewis and Cyril Gaon. I said in my past video seemed like Cyril Gaon was kind of nervous or seemed like kind of shaken or unsure of himself when he faced off with Derek Lewis. It was, I believe, at the press conference and maybe at the weigh-in, you know. And I remember somebody commented on YouTube about how Derek Lewis was acting. They said it seemed like out of character the way he was trying to get at Cyril and, you know, at the press conference, you know, trying to get in his face and shove and all that. Someone said it kind of reminded them of Ronda Rousey versus Holly Holm. We know how that ended up. So what do you guys think about fighters that seem nervous or would have nervous energy? Um, it can be taken two ways, you know, it can make you kind of alert if you go into a fight. I don't say nervous, but if you're alert, it can, if you're aware of your opponent's attributes, people may call it nervous, but it may make you alert and cautious and make you a better fighter. I know one time when I was, uh, this was just sparring in the gym, there was a guy I was about to spar, you know, he was a big guy and, um, for some reason, I just looked at him like, uh, you know, this will be a breeze. And I didn't have any type of uh, feeling about the guy like, um, I got to do this or that or watch out for this. So I went in there and, you know, he roughed me up pretty good. That's what I was talking about before. I got hit on the top of the head and saw like a light, <laughs> you know, getting hit on the top of the head is no fun. But it's like you have to be alert, and I don't want to say nervous, definitely not scared, but you have to have something in you that, you know, keeps you on your toes. If you go in there thinking, oh, I'm going to just run over this guy, or you're acting out of character, you know, it's not going to pay off, you know. Um, I remember a lot of people think when you're quiet that you're intimidated too. No, no. You're just not trying to get into, you know, sometimes you're not trying to get into all the hoopla of what the other guy's talking about. You don't want to play into his strong point. So what did you guys think? Did you think that um, Cyril Gaon was intimidated by Derek Lewis at the press conference or weigh-in? Like I said, he definitely didn't look intimidated when they stepped in the ring, even in the face-off in the middle of the, uh, not ring, but the octagon. So what did you guys think? Did you think Cyril Gaon seemed intimidated? Did you think Derek Lewis was acting out of character, you know, trying to shove and get in Cyril Gaon's face? Cyril Gaon's a classy guy. I'm going to have to go watch the press conference and see, you know, what he was saying. I saw a little bit. Someone was asking him about Francis, uh, Cyril Gaon about Francis and Gaon, who I guess that's the next fight people want to see. I want to see John Jones get in there in heavyweight, to be honest, you know. Like I said, when people say, to be honest, that's almost like saying everything else I said wasn't true. Now, to be honest, like, well, where were you before? Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you thought about UFC 265, even if you want to talk about the undercards, which I didn't see. Um, definitely let me know your thoughts of Lewis versus Gone, the pre-fight, as well as the fight and the press conference after. Thanks for watching. It's the J. Roos Theory. Like I said, subscribe, like, comment, share. Be fearless. Yay, yay.